Yanis Varoufakis was the Greek finance minister at the height of the Greek debt crisis. Well, he joins us here today, Cambridge University. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Varoufakis. It's a great pleasure. You said that Britain would be better off within the EU and reforming the EU from the inside. But as someone who's gone to battle with Brussels before, how do you suggest Britain actually achieves that? Well, Britain is not an abstract entity. David Cameron is never going to achieve what he wants through negotiations at the level of Brussels. The succinct answer to your question is that unless we Europeans, including the British people, join forces together to demand of their leaders and to demand of the bureaucrats in, in, in Brussels um, a substantially different way of doing things in Europe, it simply won't happen. You've spoken about those demands, but previously you've spoken about a lack of democracy within Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see the EU as a threat to European democracy? The EU was constructed from the beginning as a democracy free zone. So when you depoliticize and de-democratize fundamentally political decisions, you end up with really toxic politics and economic policies which create uh, a great deal of harm. Uh, the European Union has, a, has offered a great deal to us, uh, doing away with borders, the free trade, uh, the peace that has spread uh, throughout the European continent, but at the same time, it has become a cesspool of deflationary forces and the more the global economy has been tested after 2008, credit crunches and all that, uh, the more exposed uh, its uh, fundamental flaws have become. The more exposed the fundamental flaws have become, the more recalcitrant the bureaucrats in Brussels and the more resistant to change and the democratic control. So this is why, as citizens of Europe, we have a choice, either to disband it, disband it or to apply pressure upon our leaders and the bureaucrats to democratize. If we disband it, I very much fear we're going to move into a postmodern 1930s under the present global economic climate. Under what circumstances would you return to politics? I am in politics. Politics is not just being in government or sitting on parliamentary benches. Politics is what you and I are doing now. It's political engagement. At the moment, actually, I feel that I am far more political than I was when I was in government, because in government you operate within all these terrible constraints of what you can say, what you can't say. So, politics is uh, my life. You've used, you've used terms like terrorism and torture when describing the acts of Greece's creditors. In retrospect, do you think those comments did more harm than good? Absolutely not. Speaking truth to power and telling citizens around the world what is going on uh, was always going to be my strategy and it's a, in effect it's a moral duty. Um, what I said was, and think about it, imagine tomorrow morning, we're in Britain, in Cambridge today, imagine if tomorrow morning the banks were kept closed by a central bank somewhere in Frankfurt or wherever, which shut them down in order to impose upon your democratically elected government policies that your people doesn't want. Now what is this? In a monetized economy, if you shut a people's banks down, this is to try to impose upon them policies against their views using fear. Now that's the definition of terrorism. Negotiations concerning the transatlantic trade and investment partnership between the EU and the US have been carried out behind closed doors. Do you think this is a cause for concern? Well, clearly I think that because I have joined forces with a number of activists, uh, Julian Assange being one of them, um, uh, for the purpose of campaigning for transparency. Uh, I'm all for free trade, I'm all for negotiations at the global level. It's important to bring the different parts of the world together, but I think our constituent parts, our constituents, our citizens, have every right to know precisely that which we are negotiating on their behalf. Dr. Yanis Varoufakis, thank you very much. Thank you.